Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. So, please do not shoot the messenger. I am only the messenger. I have some new products and I am standing here after mixing these colors and I am speechless. Now, I know I always ooh and ah over primary elements and that's because they are beautiful. But I now, after receiving these new colors, am convinced that the owner and creator of these beautiful colors, Miss Leslie Onstat, is actually a magician in disguise. She's either that or a good witch that knows how to make beautiful colors. <laughs> I, I am truly flabbergasted right now. I cannot wait to show you these and what they do. And just so you know, these new colors right here can be used in both resin and acrylic. Now, primary elements, as you know, can be used in acrylic pouring. And then if you mix them with the solution that they sell called art fluid, you can use them in resin too. But these here, you don't need to do that. You can just throw them into acrylic pouring or resin because they're straight mica. And they are phenomenal. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. Let me show you these colors. The new kit is called the Glass Wing Butterfly Set. And they are the most deliciously looking, deliciously named products that I believe I have ever seen. I, I'm just, let me show you these colors. Uh, I'm, <laughs> this first one is called Chal Sydney. And I don't even know if I'll have to put the flash on for you to see this magnificent looking serum here. Boy, oh boy. And have no fear, I'm going to show you how I mix my colors for this painting that we are about to do. So that is that first color. Just trying to hit the sweet spot here so you can really see it. And you know, there's always a couple of showstoppers in these colors. Not that they're all... They're all beautiful, but there's, I'm going to save the best for last. Let me just say that. This is called Isadora that I didn't mix. <laughs> Only me. After the beautiful Isadora diamond. Parisian lily. A very soft, smoky pink with a blue color shift. Wow. Indigo. Now, it, this is not showing up on camera, but these colors are just twinkling. All different color sparkles. Byzantine. Meadow. Oasis. Camera's having a hard time focusing. They're just so gorgeous. 
this is a um, a light blue with a green color shift it looks very like aqua aqua e <laughs> and now for my five favorite hold on to your boxers your briefs your panties and your thongs ladies and gentlemen because this is called glass wing so it's a really light peach with a beautiful color shift of gold absolutely gorgeous it almost reminds me of like a peach copper next up we have one called rain which is a smoky gray with a color shift of green sorry I keep getting distracted it's just so pretty I've never seen a color like this it's absolutely gorgeous and you can see it twinkling there in the camera my goodness next we have angel wings and this is a light smoky gray with a color shift of blue And then the last two. Now, second runner-up for me is a color called Luna. And, oh my, my. Here we go. I just wanted to mix it. I didn't mix it up all the way. Look at this, my friends. Again, a light smoky gray that's shifting to a violet. Oh my goodness. And my favorite of them all, because I always have a favorite, Aurora. A light smoky gray. Come on, that shifts to red. These, Leslie, I know you're watching. These are absolutely stunning. So, the glass wing butterfly set, colorart.com, use code TAMMY, Anderson Art 120 to save 20% off your entire order. Each set comes with a five pack of reusable stirring paddles, Let's say color art. I, I'm just, again, not only am I so excited to have these, but I'm just like thinking of, I got to get my next order <laughs> because they're going to run out quick. So let me show you how I mix these up now, and then we'll get right into the painting. Okay, so I'm kind of doing this video a little bit backwards because I had the colors to show you first. But normally, when I when I do a video and I try to explain a process, I start with step by step. So, forget about seeing the colors right now. This is step one for the bloom technique. But I'm not doing the bloom technique today. I'm going to do a swipe. You can also, I've seen people do flip cups with this recipe. I've seen them do. Um, I've done a Dutch pour with this recipe. I don't know if anybody else has, but I have. Uh, so you can definitely mess around with this recipe and try different techniques. It's not just about the bloom. Now, why would you use this recipe to do a swipe versus the American flow trawl and acrylic paint recipe to do a swipe? Here's why I use it. Because I like the effects that I get using this recipe with the Australian flow trowel as a cell activator. The cells are just more tight, not cells. What you're getting in a bloom when you blow out, those are not cells, that's called lacing. The white or the black is veining around your colors. 
in making what looks like cells, but it's actually lacing. So with this recipe and using the Australian flow trawl with the Amsterdam white or the carbon black paint, I get a really nice tight knit almost to my swipe, the lacing that's going through. So that's why I prefer. You don't have to use this though. You can do what I'm doing with American flow trawl and some water in your acrylic paints and just swipe them out. Okay. You will get, you'll get lacing that way too. It's just won't be as the look of it won't be as tight as this one is, but definitely doable. Okay. So I'm going to put down some of this. Now I don't want to use white. I want to have like kind of a, a smoky gray bluish background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this in the cup and I always use this brand. I always use the semi-gloss. The only thing that alters for me is the color. Sometimes I can't find the regular white. And from what I've heard, they've discontinued the regular white. It's now called bright white. I have tried it. It works fine with my recipe that I'm using, but I'll use either the anti the antique white or the country white if I cannot get the bright white. Uh, these are still very, very white and I'll show it to you in a second. So what I'm gonna do is put some of this in a cup and I'm gonna add some drops of Payne's Gray. I wanna see if I can get like a light grayish blue color. So I'll start with this and if it doesn't work and make the color that I like, I will start adding a few drops of black to it just to get it to the color that I want. And by the way, save your fast food cups or any kind of plastic cup that you get. These are great for, for putting your house paint into and um, adding a little color to it if you want. And it makes it a lot easier. You could put the lid on this that, that it came with, put the lid on it and cover the little hole with some tape and it will be fine. Uh, the paint will be fine in the cup. It makes it a lot easier to pour some of this onto a canvas than lifting this big container. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just add some of this antique white into the cup and add a few drops at a time of the Payne's Gray until I get that light light gray that I'm looking for. It's not going to be that much of a difference, just a little tiny bit. And then what I do is I add an ounce of water to this, I believe it's about 28 ounces of paint, just to loosen it up so it's not so thick. The next step is making my pouring medium for all of my colors everything except for that pillow paint because that comes right out of the can. So what I do is I take some of this Sherwin Williams Infinity Base 3. It's from Lowe's. It's a gold label and I take it and I put it into this smaller container. So first of all, I don't have to lift that big can and it just makes my life a little bit easier. What I do is that is a large soup container, uh, um, a quart. I fill it up about, I'd say three quarters of the way. And then I'll put like, I don't know. I, I don't measure the Joe Sonia varnish. I pour it in until I feel like it's enough. Um, as long, I found that as long as it's in the product, it will work. So you know, whatever's there, I use maybe a third of that amount uh, of the Joe Sonia. So I'm showing you right here how deep it is. So it's, you know, maybe a third of the amount of the untinted base. Give it a good mix. And now I have that. I put the lid on it and I can mix colors up whenever I want. It's all ready to go. I do not add water to this. Uh, if I need water, I add it to the colors after I've mixed them. Just the base and the varnish. If you can't get the Sherwin-Williams, another really good one is Vivid Enamel, sold by Color Art. 
and Glidden Semi-Gloss Base 3. All right. So here's how you mix. Well, how I mix my colors. However much of one color that I want is how much I put into that little cup. I then take one of the spoons that come with my primary element sets and I use two of those little taster spoons worth of pigment. So this is the Aurora that I'm going to mix up right now. I'll take a little cap full of water and just put it on top of the pigment, kind of just like to wet it and help it mix in a little bit so that it doesn't it will always mix in. It's just, you know, easier. You don't have to sit there and like break down if it clumps up or anything like that. Makes it a nice, smooth sail. So here is Aurora again. I just absolutely love this color. And you can see I'm sending you some love as always. Now, if you're going to mix up some tube paints, they are going to be a little bit thicker than this, so you'll have to add a few drops of water to get it to the same consistency as your dry pigments. So, we did the, the pillow paint. We did the color mixing. Now, on to the cell activator. So, I'm going to make this nice and simple. Now, I do not use, I, at one point in time, if you watch older videos, I tried uh, the American Flow Trial with the wood conditioner cell activator. I've tried uh, just paint and water. I've tried glue, paint and water. I've tried black glue and water only. No paint involved as a cell activator. I've tried all of them. And it is my humble opinion what I, what with my recipe, because I know a lot of people will argue with me on this, that you don't need the Australian flow drill. For my recipe, I feel like you get the best results with it. Okay. And this is not me trying to sell flow drill because I do not make any money off of promoting this. Okay. I buy my flow drill just like you do. So this is my honest opinion. The cells that, that this produces, they just come so easily. So if you're struggling and you haven't tried it or you want to buy it, you have tried it, you love it, you want to buy it, I Pixel Paint Designs contacted me. They sent me uh, some of the Australian Floetrol and I was just so thankful. I told them that I would announce it on my channel that they sell it and they also gave me a discount code for 15 percent off now nobody has that as far as i know maybe they've started it since they've heard me but when i got that that offer to give my viewers 15 percent off i ran with it because nobody has that for the australian flow trial plus they sell boom gel stains and they are in the United States. So you're not paying shipping for from Australia. So I'm really excited about this company. And I, I have the link in the description. So if you're looking for this stuff, they have it. But I'm telling you, because it's in the United States, it sells out fast. So don't uh, procrastinate. If you're thinking about getting it, just go get it. Because it will sell out very fast. So... For me, very simple. I don't have to do that wood conditioner, stinky wood conditioner anymore or, you know, add glue, add a little bit of white ink and this and that. I just put some paint in the cup and thin it down with the flow trial. And the good thing about the, the bloom technique in this recipe is you don't use a lot of cell activator. So a little bottle like this will last you a long time. So... Just put a little bit of paint in the cup and start off slowly with the flow trawl because it will clump up, especially this heavy body carbon black. Okay, just a little bit. Mix it around and thin it out. 
once it starts getting really thin, then you can add it in a little bit quicker. But like, see, this is, even with that little bit, it's trying to clump on me. So you have to be patient with this. Add a little bit more. Plus, you don't want to go pouring it in there. You may not need all that. And then you're wasting. So, I'd say I'm up to two teaspoons. One teaspoon of paint. Two teaspoons of Floetrol. Australian Floetrol. You know, when we cook our whole lives, we kind of know what a teaspoon and a tablespoon looks like. So, <laughs> you kind of eyeball it. It may not be exact, but it's very close to. So that would be three teaspoons. The carbon black takes a lot more of the flow trawl than the white does. That's four teaspoons. And I keep mixing it until I get where I need to get. All right, so the measurement is that I just used for the heavy body carbon black was one teaspoon of paint, six teaspoons of Australian Floetrol. Let me put this on a piece of paper so you can see how thick it is. All right, here we go. Sure, I'll waste my cell activator for you guys, <laughs> just so you can see how thick it is. <laughs> it's like I do something like that and I see a dollar go out the window, you know? <laughs> All right, here we go. So that is the consistency of my cell activator and that cell activator is a wee and i mean a wee bit thicker than my colors uh but it, it will be fine as long as it's not a lot thicker i'm talking you know needle in a haystack thicker mm, very minimal <laughs> okay so i am going to set up and we are going to do the swipe. Now here are the steps to do your swipe. Or if you're doing a bloom, it would be the same way. You put down your pillow paint, AKA your base paint, the first paint that goes onto the canvas. Then tilt it around until the canvas is evenly coated. You're then going to take your colors and pour them either in a line across the canvas if you're swiping or in a puddle fashion if you are blowing out a bloom. I put down the glass wing first, then the Aurora, and then I mixed up some Violet by Windsor and Newton. Here are just some old business cards that I'm using to swipe. I will take some of my cell activator place it directly onto the swiping card and then with even pressure I'll go right into the center of that line and pull the paint towards me with the card and you will see the cells just break through and I have to stop saying cells that is actually lacing it's not cells the difference is a cell will produce multiple colors. This lacing is just the black is wrapping around the colors. There's a big difference. Now this section of the video, I am showing you real time just how slow I am swiping. If you wanna get a nice little uh, pointy tip on your swipe, you could just lift the card up at the end and kind of pull it up towards you. I will do it here again. Okay. 
So I put the card right in the center with even pressure, pull down towards me and then lift up on the right end, right at the edge of the canvas. And it makes that nice pointy tip. So here's a closer view for you. I just love that look, I really do. So there you have it, my friends, just two of the new 12 colors of the Glasswing Butterfly set. Description area has the link and the coupon for uh, color art. And also don't forget to follow me on all the social media platforms there are. Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, I'm on it. <laughs> Uh, I'm just pointing out an area here. Once I put resin on this and bring it outside and show you these colors, they're just going to be magical. So thank you for joining me. Up next, I have a clip. Uh, I did a little coaster at night with four of the new colors, and I just want you to see the sparkle. So I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm going to love you all, and I'm going to tell you to have an amazing day and happy pouring.